Today we're going to be installing and configuring Apache web server on macOS 13.3 as of time of recording. I noticed th there's not really many tutorials on YouTube on setting up Apache web server for um, anything above OS 10. So I decided to make this video since I did manage to set this up myself last night. So let's let's try it out. Prerequisites we're going to want to have Homebrew installed by going to brew.sh in your web browser. You can just copy this here and go to your terminal window, paste it, and click enter. I already have Homebrew installed, so I'm just going to cancel that. Next, we're going to install a service through Homebrew by typing in brew space install space httpd. So httpd is the service we'll be installing and essentially that is what's going to let us run the server to our local host. So let's click enter. And I have it installed, so cool. Let's go back to our browser, close the homebrew window because we don't need it anymore. At the top in the search bar, type in localhost colon 8080. This is going to be the go-to for our web server and currently says this site can't be reached and we can fix that by just turning it on so it's, it's, it's not broken or anything it's just the HTTPD service is currently offline and to enable that we're going to type in the terminal brew space services space start space HTTPD and click enter Okay, so it's now started. So let's go back to our web browser and click reload. And cool, we have uh, an index of web pages here. And you might be wondering, well, how do I edit these? How do I set something up here? And I just have this set up because I made a little web page last night just, just to test it around. So to actually get there, we're going to go back to the terminal, type in cd space forward slash OPT and let's just see what's in this directory so yeah we got homebrew so go there and I believe the next directory we're going to go into is var and then yep so www is where our website files are located so let's go there and let's open it all right, new finder window just popped up. This is where our files are for our website, and we can edit these as we want in VS Code or whatever IDE you're using. And as you make those changes, those changes will update on the web server, the Apache web server. So that's pretty cool. Next, I'm going to show you guys where you can configure and edit the default config for Apache and that is right so if you're on apple silicon like i am you're going to type in nano slash opt slash homebrew slash etc slash httpd slash httpd dot config so this is what you would type if you're on apple silicon if you're on an intel mac it would be instead of opt slash homebrew, it would be usr slash local. So us, oh, let me show you. So if you're on Intel, it will be slash usr slash local. But I'm on an M1 Mac, so let's keep that to opt slash homebrew. And click enter. So this is the main Apache HTTP server configuration file. It contains the config directives that give the server its instructions. And if you just scroll, go down by clicking the down arrow key all the way down, you can find the listen ports and other modules as you just keep going. It really does just keep going. But the the file path is in each 
is listed in that list. So let's go back up. Oop. Yeah, see, this seems to be its own thing within Terminal, so it's not like you can just scroll up. You have to use the arrow keys, which I think is pretty cool, If even if it's a little inconvenient. You do see here, here, so we have all these um, file paths. And you can exit this by just clicking Control x on your keyboard. Save, modify, buffering, Y for yes and for no. So I'm just going to click yes. And then enter. So that's how you access your Apache config files. And something important to note is when you, if you do modify any of the config files, you want to make sure you reload Apache. And the way to do that is by typing in brew space services space reload space HTTP. As, as simple as that. And now I'm just going to stop it because I won't be using it anymore. And that's how you stop the server.